We've been waiting, man. We've had to, as Vikings fans, we've had to endure tons of speculation from the outside. Is he happy in Minnesota? Obviously, he's not. Where is he going to get traded to? Well, no more. We're done. The time has finally arrived. Justin Jefferson has signed a four-year extension with the Minnesota Vikings. Contract is worth $140 million, $110 million of which is guaranteed. $89 million due at signing. Jefferson has not only reset the wide receiver market, he is now the highest paid non-quarterback in the league, jumping over the Nick Bosa contract. And per Ian Rappaport, he's getting $26 million more than any wide receiver in the league in guarantees. Bravo. Absolutely deserving. He deserves every cent of that contract. And shout out to Quasi Adopfo Mensa for yet another slam dunk in this kick-ass offseason that he has had. And the timing of this. Jefferson could have very well said, I'm going to wait. And I... I had confidence that he was going to show up for mandatory minicamp, which begins tomorrow. And that's another thing. There's no more distractions. All systems go when it comes to this Vikings roster outside of TJ Hawkinson. But I would have assumed that he would have showed up to minicamp regardless whether he would have participated and not. That's another thing to where worst case, he's a holding until the C.D. Lamb contract gets done. But I would argue, even for those that are sitting here saying that he doesn't deserve all that money, why would you pay a wide receiver $110 million in guarantees? I would argue that he's very selfless in the fact that he didn't wait for the C.D. Lamb contract to get done to make sure that he tops that going into the 2024 season. Not a distraction at all. And you go back and look at this man's story. The fifth receiver taken in the 2020 draft. And the 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 strengths that was associated with him. The upside. The ceiling for him. All right, he's a slot guy. And I'm not sitting here and trying to go back in hindsight and say, oh, these people were wrong. I was one of the main wrong people about this guy. Saying that he'll be a solid wide receiver too. I compared Justin Jefferson coming out of LSU to Mohamed Sanu. That's probably the wrong, the most wrong that I've ever been. But it shows you that it's not an exact science. He's irreplaceable. Forget the cap and the amount of money that he's getting paid. We talked about this before. All these receivers, not just wide receiver ones, not just the first options, but the second options, wide receiver twos, Devontae Smith, Jalen Waddle. They're getting the Brinks truck delivered to them. That, all right, maybe with all of the plethora of receivers that are coming out from college, you can replace these guys at a cheaper rate. You can't replace Justin Jefferson. He, along with Tyreek Hill, are in their own class. And the reason why, if you want to argue about Tyreek Hill versus Justin Jefferson, why I will take Justin Jefferson is because of his age. But every he has multiple moments of big plays. I mean, the first touchdown that he scored against the Tennessee Titans, Kirk Cousins hit him. He had his man beat. Wide open. Probably had about three steps on the nearest defender. And then did an inside move to the left to where the safety in the corner collided into each other and he grittied his way into the end zone. And I said, okay, all right. That that's that was his first score, but that's all I needed to see. I said, all right, this is this is different. This is not just some slot guy. This is a game changer. The The Buffalo catch, the reason why the Vikings won that game at Buffalo on fourth down, defender draped all over him, had it both hands, Jefferson caught it with one, and then the 33-0 comeback against Indianapolis where, dude, he cooks every single corner that you throw at him. You have to pray that he drops the ball, that the ball is incomplete when going in his direction. But that comeback against Indianapolis, 
where he did the quick inside outside move on Stefan Gilmore, had him looking silly, broke his ankles for the score. He has so, so many moments in his young career already. You can't replace that. He is worth every single penny. He is the, the ultimate cheat code for a guy like Sam Darnold to revive his career, possibly as a starter. That if he does succeed in Minnesota and we're ready to go to J.J. McCarthy in 2025, Sam Darnold can have a second shot somewhere else. And I guarantee you, if that happens, it's going to be because of the contributions that Jefferson played in that rejuvenation. And for Sam Darnold, and Sam Darnold, J.J. McCarthy. And that's another thing. The way that this extension is lined up could not have been done more perfectly by the Vikings GM. He is locked in through 2028. That is at the same time, and he's going to get himself another contract because that following year, 2029, he'll be 30 years old. So he'll he'll at least get one more big contract, Jefferson. But the way that this contract is lined up, it's perfect with J.J. McCarthy's contract. To where if McCarthy is good enough to have the Vikings pick up his fifth year option, guess what? They're going to be up for contracts at the same time. You don't have to worry about any sort of conundrum when it comes to cap and money. And with this quarterback on a rookie contract and your star receiver, you're not going to have to worry about any issues with money for the next five seasons. This could not have gone more perfectly for the Vikings. And now the only drama, if any drama that we have, Minnesota going into mini camp and then training camp into the season is not about Jefferson and whether he's going to stay or go. It's about what's the quarterback room going to look like. How Sam Donald and J.J. McCarthy, how are they going to look? This is a great day for Minnesota. I'm happy for Jefferson. The way that he's gone about this with such grace, he's the ultimate example of, I'm just going to let my game do the talking. That's it. He is the exact opposite of a diva receiver, despite those that may claim otherwise. He's never been hooting and hollering and I deserve this or that. He's always taking the high road and look at him now. You let your game do the talking, highest paid non-quarterback in the league. Reset the wide receiver market. Hey, respect, bro. I'm happy for you.